Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Morgan, and today I'm gonna be showing you my self-care routine. I thought I'd film one of these videos for you guys because I've had a very stressful day, or week, I should say, at work and school is starting soon, so I just figured I would give myself some time to relax, be calm and chill, and just take a little bit of extra care for myself. So the first thing that I do is I play music, right? I'm on Google Music, so I just play whatever pop radio. That sounds so weird. But then I also shower. So this is my Island Sand Body Scrub from Bath & Body Works. I exfoliate before and after shaving. And then I just have the Skin to Mint Coconut sh like Shaving Cream. I haven't found a shaving cream that I really like, but I use that one. And then I'm using up some of my Snow Fairy Lush Bath, I think it's the Bath Gel or Shower Gel. Then this is my favorite thing ever, the Cetaphil Extra Gentle Daily Scrub. This stuff is so good for my skin. And then just this Matrix Total Results So Silver since I have blonde dyed hair. After I get out of the shower, I'm just brushing my teeth just to make sure I don't have smelly teeth and a mouth for the rest of the day. I also go on my phone apparently while I brush my teeth because I brush my teeth for a while and I get bored. After that, I'm just using the Thayer's Original Witch Hazel Toner. This has aloe vera in it, and I have super sensitive skin, so this just cools my skin, and it makes it feel a lot better if it has been irritated throughout the day. I don't always use a toner, but if I do, I use this one or the Neutrogena Toner, but this one is definitely my favorite. Next, I'm just grabbing the Lush Sugar Plum Fairy Lip Scrub. And I really never use lip scrubs, but I figured since I was doing a self-care day, I would do this. I'm constantly putting chapstick on, so my lips are, they're not ever dry, but I figured I could just give them a good scrub with this stuff. And I'm super weird, like you can eat Lush products, but I never like to eat them. I just think it's gross. And then I'm just putting some Aquaphor, and this is the best thing ever it moisturizes your lips so super well so i always use this after i do lip scrubs and now my least favorite part is teeth whitening so i got these from my dentist dentist they're just the opalescence trays so it comes with an upper and a lower as you can see i'm putting the upper ones in and they come in a green tray and then you take <laughs> the green tray out and then it's like kind of like crest white like whitening strips on your teeth but sometimes I'll leave them in like that to look funny but yeah I just take them out and throw them away and then that just sits on my teeth for about 20 minutes and there's me saying it tastes really bad <laughs> now I just take my super wet messy lion looking hair and I just brush that all through my hair. And I decided not to show you the whole brushing process because it takes forever. But then I'm using this mermaid mask. I think it's by the brand Bright. I know it's from Target. Um, it smells super good, but basically the instructions just said, comb it through your roots all the way to your ends. And I just got my hair dyed and I did not get it cut because my hairstyle said I don't need it cut yet. So I just figured I'd do a nice little treatment on it just to help with any dry ends or anything like that and then I'm just brushing through it again because there was some clumps of it towards my roots and I wanted it more th like towards the bottom of my hair and I just have to leave that on for 15 minutes now I am taking my I think it's mid flower mask I'm not really sure I got it in an ipsy subscription box or like the subscription bags and I figured I'd try this one out. There was two in the pack and I really, really liked how this left my skin. Um, it literally took me, I think I cut out five minutes of me trying to unfold it. It took forever. It was such a goopy mask, but that just means it has a lot of like good serums and stuff on it. So now that I have that on, I'm just rinsing my hands all off. And I figured I'd just show you guys what I like to wear on self-care days. These legging or shorts are from Victoria's Secret and then my sweatshirt was a school sweatshirt. And then I always, always have candles lit in my room, but I like to use the Peace and Tranquility one. I think this one's like Chesapeake Bay, but I don't remember what store it's at, like from. That one just smells super good. 
After my candles lit, I just like to lay in bed until my hair mask and face masks needs to come off. And I'll usually just go on my phone. I went through Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook. I feel like I'm the only teenager who has Facebook, but I love Facebook. <laughs> and then I'm just scrolling over to TikTok. I am obsessed with TikTok. I used to make fun of everybody for being on that app, but I just think it's hilarious. So we just went and looked on that for a little bit. Now I'm going to be heading back to the bathroom to go rinse out my hair mask and get my face mask off. There's my puppy Oakley. So I'm just peeling this off. It was super satisfying. <laughs> and then I'm just going to be rubbing the rest of the serum in and I also rub it on my neck too because it's super important. I feel like everything that you do on your face should be on your neck like cleansers, moisturizers, face masks. Because honestly, your neck shows the first age of, like, sign of aging. Obviously, I'm not aging, but for the future. Now, this is super gross, so I cut most of it out, but I'm taking my teeth whitening strips out. It's disgusting. I hate these whitening strips, but then I just have a special toothbrush that I brush all of the gunk off with. I'm disgusted every time I did do this. I figured you guys wouldn't want to see it. Now, I'm just making sure that the water is warm enough, and I am rinsing out my hair i don't know why i just didn't rinse this out in the shower and i chose to do it like this um don't ask me i don't really know but my hair was super super soft after this mask and i probably could get two to three uses more out of the pouch that it came in so i know i'll definitely be using that again and like i said i think it was from target now i'm just wringing out my hair and heading back in my bedroom and there is oakley she just turned one actually the day that i'm uploading this i I think we got her in October but she is my little little devil she's super cute but she is definitely a bit of a brat so I'm just snuggling with her for a little bit she always has to smell or like lick my face after I do a face mask or shower so I guess I smell pretty good though here she is showing her big teeth <laughs> now it is time to clean kind of up my room and make my bed i always feel like on self-care days it's important to clean your sheets and like change out your bedding to me it just makes me feel so much more fresh i already cleaned my room previously i just have some laundry i need to do but otherwise everything is cleaned in my room and some other things i didn't show you guys in this video is i always like to exercise on my self-care days Right now I'm doing this app step bet. I'm not gonna get in too much of describing it, but basically you pay $40 for six weeks and you have to reach all of your goals for your steps. And if you reach all those goals, you get the, your money back and the money of the losers who did not reach their goals. So I already went for a run this morning, hence why I also gave myself a self-care day because my body was hurting because I went for an hour run the night previous. So that's that and a lot of times i like to do yoga too i don't know if you guys could see my yoga mat in the back but sometimes i also like to do yoga but i didn't really feel like showing that in this video because i thought i don't know to me watching another person exercise that's pretty freaking boring so i decided to just leave that out there's me hurting myself being dramatic and I don't know why I did that, but there is what my finished bed looks like. I just need to add my throw blanket, but of course Miss Oakley has to jump up on the bed and be a little stinker on my white clean bedding. Yeah, there's that laundry I was talking about. But yeah, that is usually what my bed looks like. That is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and like this video.